Hello guys, it's Prepazette here and welcome to our 1, 2, 3, 4th episode, I'm going to say it's our 4th one, of our Soldier playthrough of Empires of Undergrowth. Now, unfortunately, we will have to have some workers as well in this one. Just This for Mika Fusca Black and them. Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the Earth, Above ground, a nearby colony of Formica sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. So there, that's Ham Sport now. Unfortunately, really? the Queen shows her colony's home poorly. This earth is infested with Grillatalpa Grillatalpa, the European mole cricket. Growing up to 45 millimeters in length and with powerful forelegs, these beasts are masters of tunneling. The crickets have had their fill of roots for the day and are now on the hunt for protein rich invertebrates. This Queen and her brood are in imminent danger of being devoured. So there's some crickets again in the challenge mode. We don't need any help. But yeah, I normally just build soldiers, but unfortunately we need some workers to finish this level. If you look at the missions, yeah, sorry, yeah. Oh, let's get another soldier. Soldiers, get you off food collection duties. Let's just open them all up because you don't come out unless I go near them. Sigestria Florentina, a funnel web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, mm. powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between trip wires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her senses. Tell I get more soldiers. Snapped away in the blink of an eye. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. Why do we need to be near our sisters? The Sanguinea scout has sensed the presence of the black ants. Oh. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. So soldiers just come here and actually start to collect, actually. We'll use all this food to build more. Don't go down there. A mole cricket is burrowing into the nest. The Looks ants like must mount die. a defense quickly, or their brood will be forfeit. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. 
No, I've got 10 work, 12 work, well 10 alive, 12 because 2 haven't hatched yet. That should be enough to batter this spider. There are intruders in the nest. Uh, that raid's fine, so let's go over there. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The Fusia colony must replenish quickly if they are to survive the next assault. We'll be fine. You'll be fine. Let's go here. Let them collect all that lovely scrumptious bits of spider. Let the soldiers just batter everybody. Let's get in a two, three, four. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. There is so. Just my guys haven't collected all yet. See, once you start, once you've got a handful of soldiers that can take down a spider easy, this level literally becomes easy pickings. And I genuinely mean that. This is what it once once you kill the first spider, basically this level is very Predators easy. Are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Fact, no, go here first. Predators are loose in the nest. The look, let's have that spider gone just when it comes from an ant. Mole crickets are burrowing into the nest. The ants must defend in multiple locations at once. Right, quick look at the spider. Then they will hold off the crickets. And the raid, just let them take a couple of guys. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. That was going to help our workers. And let's go here. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The danger may be gone for now. But this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Some real worms there that we can take care of. Yep. Yeah, there's the rest of the workers. And wait 
wait for that to get opened up. In fact, let's come down here and fight them. Where that gets opened up. A couple of bits of food here. That's that bit done as well. Thank all the workers are doing here fighting, oh, a couple of them. But the soldiers will kill them nice and easy. Then we'll take that out, take it here. Soldiers have done that, let's come over here and clear. Then the next raid in 30 seconds, that's fine. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Right, let's get back. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. Still collecting up there. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken ten percent of the Black Ant brood. The Queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. A mole cricket is burrowing into the nest. The ants must yeah. mount a defense quickly, yeah, right. or their brood will be full. Let's go and clear out a spider then. We can take that crack at them, our soldiers can actually eat, eh, uh, take the food, sorry, not eat, they can actually carry the food. Right, he's gonna get battled soon enough. So soldiers just come there, you're there, number three is here. Loads of food here, but I suppose they will do it. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Yeah, lots of food. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or extinct. No, they're not. Not one of them's got out yet with an egg. Perfect. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great Black Ant Empire. There we go. Extra jelly because I would normally would have went extra food at the end there, because I'm planning on doing the Formicarium challenge in the next episode, but I think the extra jelly because I can't remember. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviours. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. I want to kill him. Now yeah, I've got a couple of guys on him. Right, yeah. Should have went for the food.
physical or attack speed. I'd say probably block the damage. But then do I want to upgrade? That's only 50 actually. And that's 100. Right, let's get that first. And then... a few hundred food left over for the fornicarium challenge so guys there might be another couple of upgrades off camera but I'll just let my guys collect the food and I'll get ready for the fornicarium challenge in the next episode so guys thank you very much for watching proud out to the new